Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cestus, a weapon of the Fist class that honestly scales pretty well in strength and dexterity. You will get a little bit more damage output out of the Heavy Infusion, but you can use them Keen Infused as well. I decided to go with the Strength build for today since I do personally prefer the Strength build. As for the moveset of the Cestus, it is pretty standard for a fist type weapon. Their light attacks are the chain punches. They don't do the most poise damage, but they come up pretty quickly. Just beware your opponent being able to poise trade with them. One of the reasons I like to go for the running heavy is because it does combo into the heavy attack, and the heavy attacks in general do more poise damage, so your opponent getting stunned is much more likely when using that attack. The Cestus is a regular smithing stone upgrade weapon, so we do have access to interchangeable Ashes of Aura. I'm going to start off with Cragblade. Like I said, the light attacks don't do the best poise damage, so I do want to increase the poise damage with Cragblade. Makes them a little bit more effective. I also really enjoyed using the Blood Flame Blade on the Spike Cestus, since it did have natural blood loss buildup. The base Cestus doesn't, but I feel like this could be pretty effective with the true combo, since you do get the three hits for the blood loss buildup. And then on my second Cestus, I have Storm Stomp since it does combo into the heavy attack, so it's a really good way to finish off your opponent if they do have a sliver of health, just a guaranteed heavy attack. As for my choice of talismans, my first slot I often swap around. I start off with the defense talisman and then I swap to whatever I enjoy. My second one, I have the Shard of Alexander to boost all the different Ashes of War that I have. And then I have the Crimson Amorant Iron Plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Bull Goat talisman to hit the poise breakpoint that I enjoy. That's all I really have to say about the Cestus. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first match, and we're fighting a Radon. <laughs> but he's not using the Radon sword, so he's not full cosplay. I still I appreciate the outfit though. He's got the great sword. We're gonna be trying to land the running R2 with the Crag Blade. Ooh, sneaky. Trying to use the pillar Radon. Oh. <laughs> not a hit was landed that day by either of us. Oh, we get the combo, and it does 14-17 with the Crag Blade. Okay. That's actually not bad. I want to hit the backstab there. <laughs> well, fun fight, Mr. Greatsword Radon. Interesting. Pretty good damage output, though, on the combo with the Crag Blade. I want to see how that works with the Blood Flame Blade next. Oh! Oh, we have the same opponent again. Drequi. Hello there. I, I readied up too quickly. All right, Jack, we, well, we're going to test something else on you. We hit a 1400 combo on you earlier, so let's just see if we actually get a blood proc with the, the combo. Oh, he's got a pulley crossbow in the back. 1200 without the buff, but we are going to get the bleed off, probably. Oh, no. <laughs> I have to pressure a little bit harder. Okay, we got some bleed build up there. Oh, okay, still no bleed. All right, well... Maybe the Crag Blade is the better way to go about it. Oh, he took a trade. <laughs> well, fun second fight, Mr. Radon. That was a good test on what works better with the, the standard uh, Cestus. Ah, now our next to <laughs> Okay. I swallow. Come. <laughs> Hello there. So he's got dual straight swords. I didn't use the Crag Blade buff, so we may as well just use the Storm Stomp one. Maybe take a trade. Do some Lightning Bundle Fist buffs. Thought he might go for a jump attack. Ooh. A little bit of Phantom Range there. Watch out for that. Punch. Oh! Okay, a lot of Phantom Range. Okay. Let's see, what is our connection? Okay. That's not the worst, but straight swords in general, I think, just have a lot of phantom range. Really good trade there. Mm, yeah, I guess. Tried to make him panic with the jump. It kind of worked, but I didn't get the attack off, sadly. Hmm. One storm stomp to heavy attack will win it for me. Why is he hiding behind there? <laughs> He's trying to <laughs> flaming strike me through the pillar. That's funny. He wants me to run into it so badly. If I had a long range type Ash of War that I could swap to, this would be a pretty easy finish, but I'll put this on just in case. So if we do happen to take any type of trade at all. There we go. Fun fight though, man. 
interesting sneak attack with the pillar. Moving on to our next opponent, we have a Bramir. Hello there, Bramir. Hello. I'm gonna buff this though, see if we can actually get a blood flame off. All right, Bramir, I like your outfit. And using a curved greatsword, some bloodhound fang. I don't see that much. Oh. Still no bleed though. I don't know how many times I'd actually have to connect an attack to make the bleed work. <laughs> that was an interesting interaction with the Ash of War. Blood Bramir. Good attempts, good attempts. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Shalon Devar. Okay, I'm actually going to use the Crag Blade again because I forgot to swap off this Ash of War. <laughs> want to see the damage output with a Zvihander. Okay. Whoa. And the Rock Throw. A little bit of chip damage potential. Kind of thought they were going to light roll with that setup, but it doesn't look like they are. <laughs> but honestly, the jump attack does pretty good damage. Interesting build. It did look like a light roll. Colossal sword build. Our next opponent is Gloria. With his, was that a wizard? That is a wizard. Alright, we want to use Crag Blade. Oh, okay, wizard. Chip damage this, Mr. Wizard. I'll keep this on, and we'll do, I guess, a little bit of regen. He looks like he's just going to long-range chip damage me, or attempt to, anyway. <laughs> Why are you even holding the scythe, sir? <laughs> I did the double kill. There's chip damage back at you. That's right. <laughs> no casting. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wizard. I'm just going to stay close to you now, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> the one-handed Cestus finish. Goodbye, Mr. Pew Pew. That's not a good reason to use Beast Roar, though. You can kind of punish the spell casts. Heading into our next battle, we have Faint. Hello there, Faint. A thrusting sword. Interesting. With, with a lightning bundle. Oh, I'm one-handing it. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but yeah, I should have started the fight with it and do wielded. Okay, let's take off our buff rings, buff our ashes of war. A little bit of regen, I guess. But the delayed hit of the flaming strike might connect, but it did not. True combo. Okay, we're taking some decent trades. Thrusting swords still do really good damage, but... Oh, I didn't lock on to him. That was weird. Whew. Come into this. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have went for the charge, Tevi. Very good use of the thrusting sword, though. Very fun fight, man. Oh, up next we have Joaquin Gerardo. Hello there. AFK? So AFK dueling? <laughs> okay. This time we're gonna use the blood flame with flaming strike. <laughs> Just to look a little nicer. Okay. I think I can tank one baton hit. Ooh. That took over my buff though. That is not a lot of health there, Joaquin. Oh no. I'll come sit with you. <laughs> Into can I can I reverse backstep from this maybe? So I need you to stay there for me as a test. <laughs> I was doing it a little bit too early because I wanted to aim it around his back. Goodbye, sir. Oh, this time we have Thanatos. Hello there, Thanatos. How are you, man? You have a pike and some form of buff. Okay, I have Endure. <laughs> Honestly, wasn't expecting any lightning there. Very interesting. Some flaming strike on the pike. I dabble in the flaming strikes as well. Froze. Wait, froze bite. Because I, I wasn't prepared to speak there, apparently. Oh. Didn't expect that heavy to connect. It has more deceptive range than you think. Him with that attack. That always puts me off. <laughs> Frostbite that FP. No free FP here. Not my style. 
Oh, he's got a light roll. I didn't even realize. Oh, I could have finished him there. Didn't think I was not going to connect. <laughs> he pulled off a free full heal. And the combo still killed him. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heading into our final battle, we have Scurizard. Like Charizard, but not. Hello there, Scurizard. Alright, I'm with you. I got a buff. Yes. Alright, so we have the off stock halberd. Actually, that's a curve sword in the off hand, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Interesting. We're just going curve sword. Ooh. Didn't think that would hit me. My L2 did not come out there, unfortunately. But we got a good trade, actually, still. From the flaming strike there, somehow. Heavy thrusting sword? Good. You'll actually attack me then, probably. Maybe. Okay, we will be avoiding Royal Knight Resolve for sure. <laughs> okay, still no bleed buildup. Back to the Halberd setup. No? Curve Sword? One Curve Sword. <laughs> I think he's literally stuck in his menu. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Well, very fun fight, man. He was definitely perusing the menu. Alright, moving into the invasions, we're in the Lakeside Crystal Cave. And I don't think I've ever invaded here. I don't even know where I am, to be honest. But I will drink my flask! And there are wizards. So we're gonna fight the wizard first. Why is he chilling in a bush? Wizard dead. Moonveiler, you are next. Stop moonveiling. <laughs> Oh, wow! No HP on Jin. Maybe we'll let him just moonbail himself out a little bit here. Jin, off the cliff with you. No? Okay. <laughs> I really wanted him to roll off the cliff. Interesting. Mountain top of the giants next, and they are fighting the birdies. Yes. The best allies in the game. Oh, they're not. I see them. Okay. Hello there. Ooh, maybe I can get a nice backstab. No. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, I'll fight the panda first. Oh. He's already getting fought. Come back here. <laughs> oh, not the lightning. That kind of forces me to run away. Oh, you can't even straight that? Oh, wow. That's rough for him. I'm on your phantom. No. <laughs> phantom down. Molly water. Oh. Maybe my pot. I know that thing's going to explode soon. Yeah, that is why I waited. Face the frost. <laughs> no, the PV is actually in my way right now. Molly, come back here. L1, I know you want to. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Sometimes PV OP. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Cestus. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I enjoy wearing, and the talismans that I utilize throughout the showcase. And of course, keep throwing your weapon recommendations below. I will get to them as soon as I can. Until the next video, this is goodbye. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the input. Goodbye. Goodbye.